Right guys, welcome down to Valderrama and I am joined here by James Robertson, tour professional, super nice chap and fellow northerner. So we all know he's a really, really nice guy. Yeah. And actually, <laughs> randomly didn't know this, but actually went to the same college we did, as, yeah. My school as college, me and Rick, yeah. which is just like, I was around thing because you were a little bit younger yep. than me. A couple of years, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe a few more see <laughs> go to a golf college and great things can come you can join the tour or you can just get away with things like me it's brilliant go there absolutely great so we're going to do a what's in the bag then we're going to do a few challenges as well yep. so talk me through it so i mean it's a bit of a, a little bit of a, a mixed a mixed bag really yeah well i've got a couple of brands in there Titleist and tailor made um because normally start with the long stuff or? um yeah, come on, yeah. Let, let's start with the driver. Let's so, dive straight in. The driver. There. It's amazing how often I have seen this shaft today. Really? Yeah, I have yeah. seen this shaft a lot today. This is kind of coming when you're kind of getting fitted for this stuff. Is this one that they kind of tend to be putting in straight away now? Or? Um, yeah, it was one of my first options that they, get, that they did fit me for, but uh, it's just just been really good here. Yeah. It's yeah, a nice. nice solid shaft and so this seems to be popular. And corded grips. Everyone's on like the corded grips. Yeah, last longer. Rip your hands up though when you practice. And, it. Sorry, in a little world in my own there. So <laughs> we're on the M2. Now, first kind of question to ask: Why M2 rather than M1? Uh, I find it just spins a little bit more. It's a tiny bit more forgiving. So you're um, actively looking for that little bit more spin to help. Yeah, uh, dispersion a wee Dispersion bit, right? accuracy. Yeah. Um, it's, it, there's not a lot of difference. I, I find it just a little bit more forgiving, especially on like shots hit out the top of the face. Yeah, precisely. That that's exactly the reason I was, you know, because it's a very comparable situation. I've made the same switch in my bag. I'm just like the tall professionals. <laughs> so we can switch it around. So we got the M2, and you've got that set to standard. nine and a half. Yeah, standard nine and a half lap, on yeah. there. That's good. No, that's cool. How long you had it in the bag for that? Um. M2's been in the bag probably three weeks. Three weeks now? Yeah. And it was the M1 just before, M1 before, M1 before it, yeah. that? The same shaft, just over. literally just changed the head over on nine and a half setting, yeah. Easy as that, eh? Easy. Easy as Easy that. Easy done. What are we got into the fairways now? Uh, what are we going on with? Three wood. Three about wood? 14 degree. Oh, standard perfect. loft. So the M1 for the three yes, wood? Yes, M1, yeah. Kind of standard loft on Not there. Not tried the M2 yet, but I find the M1's great in the three wood. Uh, it's, a, it's a great three wood, isn't it, yeah. really? And there's not, I don't think there's a massive amount of difference between uh, between the M1 and the M2, apart from the adjustability, and you've got that kind of screwed into the middle anyway, so yeah. not a massive amount of difference. No, that's really cool. Um, slightly different shaft on this, so I've got the yeah. Torex, the other Rogue on this one. Yeah. That's cool. That's a good, good strong start to that bag, mate. And then yeah. we kind of move into, have you got a couple options here uh, in this kind of area of the bag? I, I do I do have a two iron, but I, I rarely use it. I'm yeah, more of a rescue man. Okay. Yeah, I've always liked to <laughs> so, seventeen so or eighteen. Is that going to be the title of your film? <laughs> yeah, rescue man. They call me the rescue man. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the M1. Sorry, twenty three, seventeen degrees. Seventeen degrees. I'm standard. Standard lot, in there yeah. as well. And that's cool. So you got that as the two, and then you've got kind of move on to a three iron. Move on to a three iron. Three yeah. iron from there. There's a little bit of a. A little bit of a mixture as far as the top of the bag goes here, because I see you've got the old RSI for the three iron. Yes, I have. That's cool. I mean, this was... That's a great club. It was a cracker when it came yeah. out. The, the, so easy to hit. If you still got this guy, this was a just such a good driving iron, and especially kind of around around here. Yeah. A, yeah. Lot, of, a lot of guys have been saying that they're going to be using theirs yeah. maybe a lot more than usual. Yeah. Is it really... Because I've, I've not had a chance to kind of have a wander out there. Is it really that tight yeah it's brutal yeah. brutally yeah. tight right okay it's, it's, it's fairway and then you're looking at six seven inch deep rough that's in the that morning it's, it's wet right so there's there's literally no give out there no. at all it's well it's i mean it's so tricky on the way around you've got the left side of the fairway on one hole right side of the fairway position on the next. yourself well perfectly. yeah right okay and some holes you're almost better being in the rough on the left than right side of the fairway because you'll have an overhanging tree that you've got to slice it round. So it's a different game. Tricky. Different game, yeah. this, isn't it? You just plan just, it around. Some people are just happy to be in that fairway. <laughs> He's actively aiming off the fairway. That's how precise James is. <laughs> so we'll go on to the iron. So we've got the PSI Forge. Yep. Absolutely awesome iron. Love these. Yeah, very good. And these are in kind of by choice for you? Yes. As well on yeah, these ones as no, well? They're a, they're a very good iron. Yeah, I really rate them. 
No, they are very good because you right, smaller than the RSI that I used to use. Yeah. But, um, just I find them just a better iron to be honest. Yeah, awesome. They've improved. I've got a uh, I've got a soft spot for these as well. So no, that is awesome. And carrying on with the kind of grip all throughout and the KBS tours in the eyes as well. Next stuff on there. Yep. And this one, but and now well, moving on to a, an interesting part of the bag with another another kind of makeup that goes from uh, four through till nine. Nine, yeah, and then and then we switch on to the standard wedge goes to the new SM6 which as well. And you were wedges. and you were getting very excited about these beforehand. Yeah, so you really enjoying using wedge. these. Yeah, ones. I think they are very good. Got a really soft feel, really workable, and uh, they go a good distance as well. A little bit of stamping as well. God, everyone loves a bit of stamping today. Yeah. Right, well, that's good. So you've got to have it personalised. Absolutely. Hey, if you, if you, if you have the opportunity, hundred percent. Yeah. So you go from forty-six, eight degrees of bounce, everything with eight degrees of bounce. Yep. And as well up to it's the just, fifty-eight. It's like a nice mid bounce, really. I don't like too much bounce, but so like too little makes it a bit easier with a bit of bounce on there. <laughs> just up to the fifty-eight, so not kind of tempted with a higher loft than that. No, I've always been three wedge. Um, 52, 58 combo. Um, I have tried other stuff, but I've always been Just quite successful with that. So fall on with it, yeah. Fall on back to that. Yeah. And we have a well, a bit of a nuclear head cover here, mate. Yeah. What's, on, what's under here? There you go. Oh, look at you. Very, very fancy. Are you going to continue this Scotty Cameron winning tradition this week? I am, yeah. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. Not even a maybe. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> For tour use only. Yep. That Beautiful. Look. Oh, look at that. I don't think I've seen this before, but. No, well, Henry, the Scotty rep, actually before said, it's, I think you had one of the first ones, so. Oh, wow. There won't be many of them about, I don't think. That looks really good. That looks really good, that way. <laughs> when did you get this one? It was kind of brand uh, new, pretty much. Yeah, about a couple of weeks. It's uh, yeah. They only just released that one, so that looks fantastic. Be about. Awesome, exclusive Scotty Cameron exclusive. Uh, nice grip on there as well. Nice and well, thick, mid size, thicker. Yeah, on the grip. That's kind of a tendency that we've seen today as well for a lot of the guys who've done these with kind of that thicker, yeah, kind of putter grip. Is that something that a lot of you guys are just kind of yeah it heading takes towards like, it? More hands out, I suppose, isn't it? I suppose. I like the mid size because I've tried the thicker ones, but I struggle with pace. Actually, feeling the pace yeah. of the butts after that. And I've okay. tried a really thin one, and I don't know. I just like the mid ground really. Easy yeah. is that? Eh? Yeah, middle, middle ground. Yeah. Um, we've got the Fudjoy gloves. Uh, yeah. What balls do you want at the moment? Pro V1 X. Pro V1 X. Yeah, Sixteen ball. And everyone's on the Pro V1 Xs today. Yeah. You guys, you're, <laughs> all the sales stick together. They know what they're doing. Yeah. So what we're going to do? We're going to do some, uh, some challenges with James. I mean, this is the first kind of real kind of tailor-made S bag that I've kind of got hold of yep. today. So really interested to see the differences and the differences between the brands as well. I mean, so many different ones kind of getting in there as well. Yeah. Um, as far as kind of social media, yeah. uh, what should we be looking for you on? Twitter, Instagram? Twitter and Instagram, yeah. What you? Uh, James Robo Golf. James Robo Golf on both. Yeah. On both. That's cool. I'll link, yeah. the, uh, I'll link those links in the description below. So please give James a follow. Really, really nice guy, fellow Cheers. northerner. Lives in Lytham as well now. Yep. I mean, what more, what more do you need to know? Come on, just do us a favour. Just we all stick together. Just yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. We'll, we'll know each other up there. Please, we'll, we're all gone. So, guys, please like the video, share it around, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also follow me on other social media platforms as well. I'm just greedy. Right, guys. Thanks very much. And we'll see you next time. Some challenges, James. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for taking Appreciate the time. That. Thank you. And we'll see you next time.